So joining us now, Sharon Bilek and her attorney, Gloria Allred. Good to have you both with us this morning. Thank you. Sharon, a lot of people are still wondering, why did you decide to come out now? What's in it for you? Absolutely nothing. I have so much to lose, but really nothing to gain. Um, it was a very tough decision for me to make, and um, I know I'm doing the right thing. But, but again, wh why? Why did you decide now well, to come out and talk about it? Because I wanted to be the voice and the face for those women that couldn't or wouldn't um, come forward. And I'm, those that know me know I'm pretty outspoken and know that um, I fight for my convictions, and I really believe in this, and I had to do something. Sharon, when, when, when you say Herman Cain last night say there is not an ounce of truth in all of this, that it is completely fabricated, mm -hmm. your reaction is what? You know, I did this. I don't despise the man. I actually did it because I, I wanted to help him. I wanted to give him a platform to come clean, to tell the truth. And he still hasn't done it. And it's really a shame because he, he could have he switched it. He could have you know, come forward, and I was trying to be nice about it, too, and, and it just didn't work. Well, we know he has is, he is said that he is going to come out and speak later today. Did you contact him at all before deciding to go forward with this press conference yesterday? I did not. Do you, do you think that he, he may have had a different reaction had you reached out to him privately ahead of time? I, I think the real question is, has he contacted her to say uh, that to admit to what he has done and then also to apologize if he thought that was appropriate to do? But no, he hasn't contacted her. And the real question is also, uh, should the public believe four women, none of whom appear to know each other, or one man who has a motive to deny everything? Uh, I think the public can make that choice. You and, and you, you point out you don't know each other, so you don't know these other women. No, I, I haven't met them. I no. But Gloria, have, you have been in contact with at least one attorney. Is that correct? Uh, no. No, you have I'm not. I'm not sure what you mean. Which one? With attorney. one attorney of the, the attorney of, of one of the other women who. No, had... I have not. And uh, but I know the other women have reportedly alleged sexual harassment. Two of them uh, received settlements after they alleged sexual harassment against Herman Cain. So I think Herman Cain now has the burden of answering certain questions. Does he admit that he met Sharon? Does he admit? that he went to dinner with her? Does he admit that he was in the car with her? Does he admit that he put his hand, as she alleges, under her skirt and groped her genitals? These are the kinds of questions he needs to answer, not a flat denial. He's never sexually harassed any woman. What are the specifics of what he's done? Well, I think, Sharon, when, 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 Herman, when, when Herman Cain saw you a month ago, he acknowledged that, that he remembered you. Absolutely. But then it just did. ended very quickly, the, yes. the interaction, at least. Yes, there. because he was being ushered on stage. And um, I do, reflecting back, and even on that day, I noticed that he was uncomfortable with you know, I think he thought about it and uh, became uncomfortable. Had you heard any other stories before that night, 14 years ago, or then after? No, no. And in fact, as I was, I was sitting in the audience after I had, you know, reintroduced myself to him, um, I, I, I began to think, gosh, you know, he's, he's running for president. I really hope this was the only time he's done something like this for his sake. And um, so, no, I did not know of anyone else. I thought maybe it was just a moment in time, but obviously not. And, and you had never heard of anything else in your time with the National Restaurant Association? No, I hadn't. I had not. And I think well, it's important to know that she is a registered Republican. Right, well, yeah. And she's not uh, endorsed another candidate, and she's not made contributions to any candidate. And as a matter of fact, uh, you know, her only motive is to tell the truth and give a voice and help to empower women. Well, Sharon, let me ask you that. If you, b b because of the way you've, you, you, you voted before and mm -hmm. you say you're a Republican, yes. could you, if, if, if he comes clean in your mind, mm -hmm. could you see yourself voting for him? I think first um, you need to admit that you've done wrong because you, it, you can't um, right. say you're sorry until you've, you've done wrong. So um, that's a loaded question. If and he I, did that, I, would you vote for him? I'd have to think about that. So I, I, I hope that he does, and I'd have to think about that one. Appreciate you both coming in this morning. Thank you. 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 Th